Hi there. Success in entrepreneurship is based on two things. The first is start strong. And then the second one is a finish prosperously. Whatever happened in the in between now is based on the foundation on which the business is built on. If I talk foundation, probably you might be thinking about the things that are driving you from becoming just someone to becoming an entrepreneur. What drove you into entrepreneurship? That's not it. But however, let me just accommodate you there. Probably you're saying uh, you went into entrepreneurship because maybe you were passionate about something. Uh, maybe you were passionate about food. You went to a culinary school and then became a chef open up a restaurant that became your business okay so you're thinking okay passion is the foundation okay not really or you it could be education you went to business school and then after that you thought okay with the education that I've, I've amassed over the years then i understand business much better so let me pursue entrepreneurship or went into entrepreneurship based on experience okay you probably had a parent father mother who was a mechanic so you were hanging around cars while growing up you got to uh, understand and became sort of knowledgeable about the ins and out of vehicles then you started your own business as a motor mechanic you've got your motor mechanic shop and so forth okay that's not really what i'm talking about what i want to talk about today is building a business on biblical foundation or biblical truth that is what i want to speak about okay you might be thinking right now uh let me just move on this guy is going to preach uh, to me not really that's not the purpose of this video i want to expose you to certain biblical truth that are the foundation upon which business stand on you might not know it right now but as soon as i begin to elaborate on some of these issues you will be grateful that i brought this to you and i think you will like this as i like preparing it for you now this is results oriented preparation thank you for tuning in this is where early preparation equals excellent results if you are joining for the first time on this channel please consider subscription to the channel liking and also sharing the videos but if you are a return viewer, thank you for supporting the channel. Also like and share the videos and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Okay, let's jump in. One of the primary foundations of a business in any scenario, one of the things that must precede starting a business is that there must be a vision. Okay, now in business terminology, we always say a vision must be one clear must be precise, must be concise, and must also be compelling. Okay, now I wonder where that came from. Now, there has to be a foundation from which this was taken from. Okay, now let me expose you to Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2 and 3. I'll read just verse 2 and 3. Now, let's hear what it says concerning a vision. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write a vision and make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it okay so it's talking about writing a vision we know that one of the things that you're taught in business or in business school or whatever is that a vision must be articulated the best way to articulate something is to make sure that it is written down right and it also says in this verse that it must be plain which means it must be clear as it is written in your business jargon that a vision must be clear okay so you see plain clear means the same thing plain clear means the same thing so in this case we are seeing similarity but differences in terms of how it is explained but it basically means the same thing so vision comes from biblical principle now number two in the verse three of that same book it reads for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it will speak and it will not lie though it tarries wait for it because it will surely come and it will not tarry okay so it says it is for an appointed time one of the attributes of a vision is that 
it is long term in nature all right a vision is not for today it's not just only for tomorrow but you're looking at 10 20 30 years it is long term in terms of its perspective which is basically what it says here that this is for an appointed time and it also there is something very peculiar about this verse three says that uh, though it tarries wait for it now waiting for something uh, talks about you being patient all right uh, the patience and the endurance that an entrepreneur ought to have is expressly clear in this verse okay so it means therefore that issues around vision are taken from biblical principles okay that's my take on it at least but i'm also interested to hear from you exactly what's your take concerning this and please do leave a comment down below and let's discuss this together okay i'm going to the second uh, issue here that i want to bring to you the second issue comes from proverbs i'm reading to you a uh, proverbs chapter 15 and verse 22 it reads as follows a uh, plans fail for lack of counsel but with many advisors they succeed okay so it basically was saying that if you've got a plan you still need someone to counsel you which means you need someone that you can consult so we can easily uh, extrapolate and say that the consulting business uh, the coaching business you, you know you've got a lot of business coaches you've got mentors all of that find expression through this verse you might have a plan as an entrepreneur you always need to hear a perspective from someone else knowledgeable in a particular field it could be an accountant consulting on your business so they're giving you advice and it is clear that this advice becomes the foundation upon which an entrepreneur can tap into knowledge that he doesn't have to make his entrepreneur uh, experience more interesting and more successful remember we're talking about as well starting strong and finishing prosperous the third verse that i want to talk to you about is proverbs 21 verse 5 let me read it quickly to you it reads as follows the plans of the diligent lead to profit as surely as haste leads to poverty now you will see that there's a comparison there between diligence and and haste now diligence means in simple terms that you are having steady and continuous effort steady and continuous effort that is being applied towards a particular goal now if you are diligent it says there that it leads to profit we know for sure that entrepreneurs that apply themselves day unto day without really taking their eyes off the ball obviously it leads to profit although there are other attributes that will contribute to that diligence is one of those attributes that an entrepreneur has and is clearly expressed in this verse now the second thing that is talks about there is haste we know that haste in this case says leads to poverty but in other cases it says that the business venture will fail now haste suggests that you did not give yourself time to consider all the things that go into a business you did not give yourself time to look at variables in the market environment in the macro environment that will make you successful or that will help and enrich your business decision making so therefore diligence uh, leads to profit because profit after all is the biggest uh, motivator or the biggest reason or goal for someone to go and venture into entrepreneurship so every business uh, wants to make a profit therefore diligence is the one that leads to profit as that particular verse of scripture saying so having said that i'm hoping that so far you are getting a, a different perspective especially as far as biblical truth is concerned i know that these are not the only uh, three uh, most important or uh, scriptures that you can you can build your business on there are many such principles and i'm really interested to hear from you what kind of biblical principles you are implementing in your business on a day-to-day -day basis or what have you had and you want to consider implementing i'm also uh, interested in hearing other points of view because we are 
really aiming at expanding and growing together and that will greatly improve the texture and the appeal of our journey into entrepreneurship okay i'm very grateful that you joined in so don't forget to like to share and also to subscribe is free and it helps us grow thank you so much for watching remember also that early preparation equals excellent results this is results oriented preparation we'll see you in the next video thank you bye